Hey there gamers, Sweet Johnny Cage here, and tonight, VideoGameCentral.com is proud to present the Gen X Dual Station Video Game System. For those of you who have been thinking that the Genesis hasn't been getting too much attention lately, uh, you know, it seems like Nintendo kind of uh, overwhelmed Sega with the Mario Sonic Olympics, here's your chance to get back in the action. Uh, you can rekindle old rivalries between Nintendo and Sega with all your old school buddies by playing both 8-bit NES and 16-bit Sega Genesis games. Uh, this is our basic type of unboxing video. We're going to show you everything that you get inside this package and more what it could do, what it plays, what it doesn't play. Alright, so let's get started. Now, as with the import PS3 and all imports, even though this isn't an import, there is no actual seal on here, there's no sticker, so I don't think that we're going to give you a use system. And just as added security, there actually is an actual seal on it. So, just pull back the tab, lift it up, Inside you have another cardboard box. More tree killing. Pull it right out of the package. And here's what you get. And let's pop this puppy right open. It's like Christmas all over again. Actually Christmas doesn't even happen yet. This is the perfect holiday gift for any old school fool, any old school gamer. Ooh. That's pretty good, actually. Okay. So inside the package, you can see that we have the system. This is, uh... It's pretty hefty. It's got some sort of weight to it. Uh, a little tape on the back. Fill that right off. Two sets of tape. This is the Gen X. The inputs on the back, you have your standard DC in, AV, and then we'll switch. Now, you have your power switches. This is in the off position, right in the middle. And if you want to play 8-bit NES, flick it up, turn it off, flick it back down. 16-bit Genesis, push it back down, and of course your classic reset button. This one actually works. So that's the system. Also, it comes with two controllers. Let's see how uh, how hefty these things are. How many uh, button mashes from Street Fighter 2 this thing could take? It's shaped like a Genesis controller, kinda. A little small in my hands, as you can see. Has your six six buttons: X, Y, Z, and A, B, C. D-pad's actually pretty responsive. Buttons are a little bit weird, but. You have your start, select, and slow buttons. We'll find out what those do when we go to direct capture mode. and show you what everything does on this bad boy. Like I said, you get two controllers. We're actually going to do a little bit of a test run for you guys with this. And uh, the pinouts for the controller look similar to the Sega Genesis. Get that for you right there. Although, uh, they're saying that it's not possible, but we'll get the, we'll get the last word to find out for ourselves. Last but not least, inside this box, you get your AC power adapter. Plugs right in the back. And... Oh, here it is. Your standard yellow, white, and red AV cables. Pretty standard stuff. And... Probably a good six and a half feet in length. Pretty good for storage. Alright. And. That's it. That's all you get. You get no instruction manuals, no documentation, no nothing. All you get is this pretty box with a pretty design. Instructions for hookup and setup around the back. Get all the goodies. Alright. Now, what can this thing do, you might ask? Well, by taking a look at the design right up top, you can see that it takes NES and Genesis. Alright, so we got some old school games for you that we could uh, test out. First things first, Metal Gear, of course, is classic. Now, the NES goes into the top slot, that one right there. So, it requires a little bit of force, but as soon as you line it up, pop it in there, it's in. 
a little bit loose on top only because it's such a tall cartridge and there's only so much holding it in but it's in there as long as you hold it with 10 to 11 care you're good all right shack foo have to do it i'm sorry Picking that right up this really is shack foo i wouldn't lie to you genesis games go into the front right in there and that's basically what it's going to look like when you're playing you know you don't need both in at the same time it's completely optional all right and then just just for looks you have mk2 i know this is old school fool's favorite old school game one of so we figured i'd make him happy and uh test it out with mk2 so we'll pop that right in there genesis games are a little bit easier to put in than the uh, nes but uh, they both fit in there nice and snug snug. On off.